Fierce Fitness family, welcome back to another vlog from the island of Crete. Okay, join me as we go on this drive from Platanias to Aya Marina. Okay, okay, so I'm taking you along and I will be telling you and showing you the parts. So, should in case you are coming to Platanias, I see people make a whole lot of mistakes. They're in Aya Marina, they think they're in Platanias, and Platanias, they think they are in Aya Marina. Yes, it is almost the same, hard to tell the difference, but I'm going to show you in a bit right now. Okay, so right now we are toward the end of Platanias, okay. And we're going to enter the beginning. Okay, so here there's a park and a bakery. The bakery is the beginning of Platania. They are right next to each other. The bakery is the beginning of Aya Marina, while the park, the fun park, is the end of Platanias. That's how you can tell the difference. If not, nah, you can't. So right now we are in Aya Marina. And something that is common with both communities is they have lots and lots of hotels, lodges, restaurants, bars, and stuff like that. So they look similar, the buildings, the structures, and everything. And you can also see some hotels with similar names because in Greece, they have some names that are very popular that a lot of people bear those names. So if they name their hotels with their names, then you get to see the same names, okay? So, all right, this is Aya Marina and a lot of beaches so you can just choose anyone but today we're going close to red havana okay as locals we don't bother taking sun beds but you if you're coming in as a tourist of course you grab your sun bed and if your hotel is next to the beach then they have beds hello hello, there. hello hello all right welcome back to another vlog so today we are at aya marina and it is taking you down to the beach you see for yourself let me not even tell you how beautiful it is you can see the hotel right here that goes all the way from the boat from the main road all the way I'm going to flip the camera over so you can see just get my bag out from the car and we're going down to the beach to have a swim a swim 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 all right so now we just packed our car but let me tell you something you need to know if you are lodged at the hotel they make the park uh, where you can park your car if you rent in a car available and if you're also going to the red havana to go have a swim drink listen to good music they have djs every day they have this big space where you saw me standing and talking in the beginning and all the space you see right now is their car park so it's a private car park for people going to red havana but if you're not going to Red Havana, you cannot park your car in there because it is a space for the bar, if that makes sense. So you can see cars in the yard and all of that. So we had to park by the road because we're going down to the beach. We don't normally take some bed as locals, as people that stay around this area. We don't normally take some beds, but don't worry. If you are a tourist, you are totally covered. All the beach, all the beaches and owners of the beaches, they make some beds available for you. And they make very comfortable ones depending on what you're looking to uh, get. They have like tents covering some of the birds. Very luxurious, you know. So that's something you can find in Red Havana and Cabana Mare, and they're right next to each other, okay? And the people from the hotel, the hotel also make uh, sunbeds available down at the beach because not everybody wants to swim all day, you know? Some people just want to go to the beach with a book, read a book, have a drink, have a swim in the sea, you know? The Mediterranean Sea, you know, get a good dive, get the salt water in your body and all of that. So yes. Right here you can see the sun beds here with the orange umbrellas are for the hotel. While the thatch house, you know, like um, uh, this Havana, well the name is Havana, so you know like tropical setting belongs to the red Havana. Like I said, they have good tents and everything. So depending on what you prefer, but most times the locals, you find them on this rock here. Okay, that's how you know these are locals. But although some of the tourists also spread their towels on the rock and lay there to you know some bathe because the sand here is kind of sticky you know it gets to your body sticky so people prefer to lay on the rocks okay so here you will see some people they don't mind there are lots of people here some of the ladies take off their uh, swimsuit like the bra and they're just with the pants and they lay on the rock to 
get a suntan after a few minutes they will go take a dive but of course you know i cannot show you people's body so yeah sorry you didn't see that you missed it all right she walked right in front of me oh yeah i had to cut off that part <laughs> so if you want to see things like that you're a fan of stuff like that then book your next trip to greece okay all right that being said now i'm going to take you for a walk on the beach okay and i don't know if i'm i want to be talking i might just allow you to just watch listen to the music and just take it all in and all of that but remember to leave me a question if there's something you want me to talk about around this area of Kritna, the island is big so if anything that has to do with Hanya, Platania, Mirani, Bolivari, Malame, any of these areas that you want me to answer a question, leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know. Okay, if there's a hotel you want to go to but you really want to see a video from someone that you feel like, okay, as a content creator, the person might really give you the, let me know in the comment section and I will make sure to um, respond to it. If there are fun stuff that you like, that you wondering if they have those available in Greece feel free to also drop the question in the comment section below and something else I want to say to you this I'm showing you the outside of Red Havana and Cabana Mare and also Amos Kehilios and others these are just few I mentioned we're going to walk past a whole lot of them but yeah if you want to see the inside of Red Havana how it looks then let me know also in the comment section so I can go there to film that video especially for you okay that one thing I love about Greece is in summer season you don't need so much to get into places like you can you step into hotels get a drink and you, you can have a swim in the pool you can film your videos same thing in the, the beach bars you can just go in get your drink and get ready sit film your video so if you're interested in seeing red havana or um cabana mare then let me know so i can actually do that okay so here is red havana and next to red havana is um actually cabana mar okay so the blue and white which kind of represents greece a whole lot you know it is the, the umbrellas in cabana is blue and white and something that if you have, i have another video of cabana mare and that's how they call it actually they call it cabana mare but yeah if you're not you must be if you're not a greek speaking person you might call it cabana mare both is correct okay but the greeks call it cabana mare okay all right so yes like i said this blue and white represents Greece a whole lot here you see the water spots like I mentioned earlier you see the water spots and all of that so if you're a fan of all these water spots jet ski and I don't know the names of all those other water spots well yeah you they have it available okay and Red Havana and Cabana Mare they are fond of changing the looks and the settings of their bars almost every season okay um, last season for example Red Havana had like this turquoise, they were going with this turquoise setting and you can see that they twisted the bit now, the building is now brown and all of that and yeah, um, they now changed it from umbrellas to touch, you know, and then Cabana on the other hand changed their own umbrella also, um, I, I, I can't remember exactly what they had last year, but I know it was, I think they had similar stuff like turquoise also mixed with something else. But now they have the blue and white, which is very common in Greece. You know, even the buildings. That's something that when you see, you know that, yes, I am in Greece, the blue and white. But now, slowly, the Greeks are kind of changing, I think, because of the weather, the dust, and all of that. So when you paint your house as white, you tend to have to paint over and over and over. So most buildings are changing. If not, when you're in Greece, you know that you have to see this blue and white, blue and white. Windows painted blue, the building paint, painted white roof painted blue you just know you're in Greece but one of the islands if you really want to see that experience that and enjoy it one of the islands you can go to is Santorini Santorini still has that blue and white vibe so that's where you see a whole lot of people going there enjoying it and taking photos wedding photos um, and all of that anniversary what 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 not what not like so so many uh, videos and photos of Santorini online and I think it is one of the most popular Greek island all right so um I'm just talking I'm just talking to you about Greece at any point I'm gonna stop and just allow you to enjoy but if you have watched up to this extent 
please do not forget to subscribe do not forget to turn on notification bell and don't forget to leave me a comment okay just don't watch and go uh, away just leave me a comment let me know what you think about those places is this something you were looking up to do you have grease in your bucket list like yeah that's one of the places i want to visit before you know people always have their bucket list let me know and have you been to greece before if you have let me know what island did you go to the or did you go to the mainland athens or you went to any of the island now they have beautiful islands they have islands of crete they have sakintos they have santorini they have um so many of them i'm trying to milos they have so many islands and all the islands are extremely beautiful whichever one you choose you're not going to regret it that's the beauty of greece because there's oh, there's so much history there's so much history and there's so much things to see and so much fun stuff to do when you are in greece so you will not regret it and let me also add that their food is extremely good okay trust me the food the restaurants they make good meal okay good meal you will get food drinks and whatnot you're going to love it you're going to enjoy it but well, okay that being said let me also add that the weather is so good that you can spend so much hours at the beach some people leave their hotels early in the morning with their books drinks and everything they need and they just go over and then they just stay at the beach all day spending all day at the beach and so on and so forth and they love it they love it so don't even worry yourself about who is the water to call the water what not the weather is so hot that you will want to be dipping yourself in the water all the time and there are also lots of fun stuff to do at the beach okay so you have games you have water sports um swimming with ball like whatever like basketball in water whatever whatever fun thing you want to do you can get it done most part of the greek um I, this Crete island the water you can find shallow waters that is also friendly if you're traveling with little kids okay let's say from few months to a year old two three four five whatever age your child is be rest assured that you will find a spot where it will be so nice and shallow where the baby can just sit down in the water even if that baby is not crawling yet you as the mom the dad can just sit with the child and the child will enjoy the whole water and everything if you have kids that are of swimming age you can also see them here in the beach although i didn't want to put camera so much showing so many kids but some of them were right in front of me so you could see them swimming running enjoying themselves playing ball playing those uh, games that they, they build castles and sand castles and things like that so there's a whole lot of fun stuff for families to do and greece is a family friendly country okay they are super super nice to, to their tourists they are super super nice to stranger you know if you are a stranger living in greece you know that yes you don't even have to bother yourself about the greeks because they are very friendly and if you have any question you ask them they are ready to help you um, if they don't understand what you're saying in english please go to your google and use your google translate speak onto your phone translate to their language and they will sure do the same and lend you a helping hand okay so don't worry if any question please leave it down below for me okay leave it down below now some of the names of the uh places i did not mention because whoo then i mean to have to go right in get some of the names because I, I i actually forgot some of the names so looking at the beach now it looks like it's just one street but it's owned by different different people if you notice the sun beds are also different so these are different different um beach bars but they're just right next to each other some of them just have a very small walkway in between differentiating the two and sometimes you can actually get it twisted you can you can get confused and move from the one to the other not even knowing that you've crossed but it, it's still not like a big deal you find you discover what then you go back to your bed and uh, also if you don't want to get a sun bed you can also spread your towel on the sand and just lay down and I think some of the uh, bars, they give the beds for free. And I think 
some other cost maybe two euro for the bed I don't know for how many hours okay well I will find that out I can include that in the next vlog okay maybe when I'll talk about hotels and restaurants and all of that maybe I'm going to include, include that but okay or well, when we go to the next page I will include that but I know that most of them the sun beds are free so yes let me know what you think about Red Havana and I will try to link the other video for you to see how Red Havana looked last year 2021 and I did the lockdown um, uh, video of uh, Red Havana, Yamarina and all of that I showed the hotel and you could see that it was, it was sorry I said I showed the hotel I showed the bar and you could see that it was painted different sorry I'm multitasking so my uh, eyes are everywhere all right so sorry like i said i'm not at ice cream trying to keep my eyes on my child my house is right next to the road not far from the beach so you have to be very careful and today is actually a very windy day so i'm doing my youtube videos so sorry if i'm not talking straight and if i'm cutting off at some point but please don't forget to subscribe like i said don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you think do you want me to show you hotels in malame hotels in Yerani, hotels, these are names of areas in this part, uh, hotels in Platanias, hotels in Aya Marina, hotels in uh, Castelli, hotels anywhere, anywhere, just let me know what you want to see next, so if you're watching this video, let me know, okay, right in front of me right now are tourists that are just coming out from this hotel that I showed you already, I believe they're going for a walk.